Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a check out the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A13 against the Infinix Note 12 and the Infinix Note 12 is powered by MediaTek Helio G96 chipset with 8 GPU of RAM while the Samsung A13 has a Samsung Exynos 850 processor with 6 GPU of RAM. On the back we have triple cameras versus a quad cameras on the Samsung. We have 50 megapixel main camera with a 2 megapixel macro and AI lens. While on the Samsung, we have 50 megapixel main camera with a 5 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back on both phones is made up of plastic, and the frame also is made up of plastic. On the Infinix, we have a flat frame, and you can see almost. While on the Samsung, we have a rounded frame, and both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side. On the bottom, we also have a headphone jack on both these two devices. Although we have dual speakers on the Infinix versus a single speaker on the Samsung A13. So I am really, really excited to see that how is a Samsung Exynos 850 is stacked up against the MediaTek Helio G96, which is a very powerful processor in this price range. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Logos came up first on the Samsung as compared to the Infinix. And both phones is running on Android 12. We have XOS version version 10, while on the Samsung we have Samsung One UI version 4.1. Let's see who is going to be the fastest one. And the Infinix Note 12 is way faster when it comes to booting up, as you can see. While the Samsung A13 is taking a lot of time, and the Exynos 850 it is a really old chipset I would say and this chipset also seen on the Samsung A21s now the Samsung it is also done and you can see about 8 or 9 second difference there between these two devices when it comes to booting up now let's talk about the displays between these two devices on the Samsung we have 6.6 inch full HD plus a PLS L3 display with 60 Hz refresh rate while on the Infinix, we have 6.7 inch full HD plus AMOLED display with 60 Hz refresh rate also we have u-shaped notch versus a v-shaped notch on the samsung so now let's see apps opening speed everything is closed up in the background no application is running in the background opening up phone dialer more faster on the infinix next on the list is the settings again more faster on the infinix now let's go to the display and you can see we have 60 hertz refresh rate on both phones no high refresh rate display that's really disappointing in this price range but at least we have AMOLED display on this phone versus a PLS L3 display. Now check out some more application opening up Amazon shopping. And that is way faster on the Infinix Note 12 as you can see. So now let's see the scrolling. And that is fees very similar on both phones. But you can see in the start I see lag on the Samsung A13. Open this. Again, a little bit more faster on the Infinix Note 12. So now check out some games application. Now let's see that how much the difference between 850 Exynos versus Helio G96. Opening up the Candy Crush Saga. Candy Crush is way, way faster on the Infinix Note 12. As you can see, Samsung is taking a lot of time. So here's the Infinix look, Note 12 looks like with max volume. And here is the Samsung A13 looks like. And the single speaker on the Samsung it is also good but we have dual speakers on the Infinix Note 12 which makes huge difference obviously. Instagram faster on the Infinix. Let's see pin out. Pin out is a tiny bit more faster, huge faster I would say on the Infinix Note 12 as you can see and the performance on this phone is the best in this price range. Opening up Snapchat faster again. Let's see Spotify. Spotify is a tiny bit more faster on the Infinix. Let's see Subway Surfer. And you can see every single application is faster on the Infinix Note 12. So the Samsung A13 is not really good in terms of these tasks. Infinix is way, way faster as you can see. Opening up the temper and two. And that is faster on the 
in Phoenix Note 12 and you can see huge difference there and the performance on this phone is really really good as you can see Infinix is a super super fast phone now let's opening up the PUBG mobile and PUBG is open up way faster on the Infinix Note 12 Infinix Note 12 is done almost and you can see done while the Samsung A13 is taking a lot of time and the Exynos 850 is a really weak processor in this price range we should see a Snapdragon 680 or a more better chipset in this price range but you can see now the Samsung it is also done opening up the tutor and that is faster on the Infinix I think but on the Samsung first now let's opening up Zedge that is faster on the Infinix Note 12 and you can see so now let's see the scrolling huge lags on the Samsung while on the Infinix no lag whatsoever so last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see who is going to be the fastest one now let's opening up the camera more faster on the Infinix Note 12 as compared to the Samsung now let's look at the front facing camera here's the front facing camera looks like on both phones and the front facing camera I feel it is a little bit more better on the Infinix Note 12 but I like the front facing camera of the Infinix Note 12 which has a G88 processor Okay guys, now let's see internet browsing speed. I am seeing to for Google Chrome on both phones. Now let's opening up Wikipedia at the same time. Let's see who is faster. Infinix is more faster as compared to the Samsung. So now let's see the scrolling. And that is more smoother on the Infinix. Now let's open this. Faster on the Infinix. Again, scrolling is really smooth this time, but you can see we are seeing more lags on the Samsung which is not really available on the Infinix so now let's opening up apple.com faster on the Infinix Note 12 as compared to the Samsung so now let's see the scrolling that is most smoother again on the Infinix I see little bit lag on the Samsung so now check our RAM management on both phones we have 8 GP of RAM versus a 6 GP phone dialer no refresh settings Amazon shopping refresh on the Samsung let's see Candy Crush Sega refresh on the Samsung Instagram let's see pin out no refresh let's see snapchat no refresh let's see Spotify subway suffer refresh let's see temper and two Let's see PUBG Mobile, no refresh. Opening up the tutor, Zedge. Last way back to the internet browser, where we left and you can see. And cast over up to say, regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that, and the Infinix Note 12 is beating the Samsung A13 in system based application, as well as in game map loading time. In game map loading time, and the difference is huge between these devices. In terms of the RAM device, and both phones is performing really good in the RAM man. Also, we have 5000 mAh battery size on both phones with a 33 watt fast charging versus a 15 watt on the Samsung. So that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A13 versus the Infinix Note 12. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.